Welcome back to Movement Monday. Today we're going to work on part two of our ankle mobility series, all right? Part two of two, so this will be the last one in our ankle mobility. Last week we talked about inversion, eversion, right? How to mobilize that ankle, the transverse plane. Today we're going to address some of the structures that support the ankle and can contribute to uh, lack of mobility through the ankle. Specifically, the plantar at the bottom of our foot and our calves. So I'm going to bring Cody in for me, who's going to demo it again today. All right, so Cody's going to go ahead and get in a kneeling position here. So just to be clear, bottom of our feet is the planter. We're going to go ahead and give that a nice big stretch. We're going to give our big toe a big stretch and work the Achilles and the calf all at the same time. All right, if you're not familiar, that big toe is essentially, it's, it's the stake in which our, the foundation of the rest of our body is built on. All right, if our big, big toe doesn't move well and the bottom of our feet doesn't move well, you're probably not going to move well. And if we're looking at theories such as anatomy trains and fascia, everything is anchored off that big toe. So we want to make sure it moves really well. All right, so Cody's going to go ahead and let you get in this nice half kneeling position. She's going to keep her hand on the inside of her knee. This is important because we don't want this knee to dive in at all and create any valid stress on our knee while we're doing this stretch. So part one is we're going to come up and we're going to get a flexion through our toes. So Cody's going to come up, right, you can see here. She's getting a nice big hinge right through the top of her toes, okay? Now from here, right, we're going to get that heel up nice and high. We should start feeling a stretch on the bottom of our foot. Now to tie in the Achilles, we're going to slowly bring this knee down to the ground. This is where it's important to have that hand down so that we don't um, have that knee back in. Now, you might not be able to get your knee all the way to the ground, and that's okay. So we just want to work on as far as you can, get that nice stretch to the Achilles, keeping that heel nice and high in the back. That's great. So nice and slowly down when you get to end range, hold it for about 10 seconds and bring yourself back up. Try and stretch that about once or twice. Um, it's extremely potent if you've never done it before. Um, so I wouldn't do a ton of volume on this. Just go for time under tension in that stretch. The one thing I will point out, if Cody goes back and puts herself in that position, and as she starts to bring her knee down, if she lets that heel drop, so let your heel come down a bit, this becomes a lot easier. All right, so we actually want to make sure that heel stays nice and high, that nice big flexion through the toes, and then we dip down. Otherwise, we're going to lose the stretch on the Achilles and the calves. All right, go ahead and give that a try. See if that improves your ankle mobility. You'll probably feel a lot better in the bottom of your legs after doing this stretch.